Hello and welcome to another edition of Office Hours with the Practical Prof and Friends. And today's a very special show and I want to introduce you to our guest. Um, he is uh, from Tanzania. He is a pastor of a Moravian church in the southwest province in Tanzania. He is a professor of theology at the Teofilo Kisanji University. His name is the Reverend Dr. Tintufie Mweni Sangole. And I want you to welcome him to our program today. Tintufie. Thank you so much for taking the time to be with me today. Thank you. So I've had the pleasure of working with you now for the last two or three months through our mutual friend and colleague um, through Moravian University and the seminary. And your story is so important that I wanted to share it with the folks that um, read my newspaper column or watch my videos and listen to my podcast. So we're doing this video today um, to talk with you about the project that we've been working on. So I, first of all, thank you for the work that you're doing. Um, would you tell the, the viewer about um, your background, um, your, your education, and your, your mission, as it were, as a uh, pastor and as a teacher? Oh, so thank you very much. And, and I'm so honored to be part of you. Oh, this is true. Uh, my dream of what I've been doing has been for more than 20 years since I was in secondary school uh, of helping orphans and vulnerable children in Mbeya, Tanzania, but also this Tanzania in general. That has been my dream and my vision of how I can help this. And throughout my, my studies, since I did my first degree uh, in, in Arusha, Tanzania, one of the Tumaini University, I did my Christian education for the children, but when I came here and did my two masters in the US, in, uh, Moravian uh, Semi, uh, University, I also concentrated on working uh, with children and young people, where I concentrated on Jungian psychology to young people, but also I did my another uh, research on HIV and AIDS uh, about uh, children in Tanzania. And in my PhD, which I did in uh, university in South Africa, uh, I wrote a, a research on the how to use stories and metaphors for the orphans and the vulnerable children in Tanzania. Yeah, uh, I, you know, when we, I first learned of your story and the work that you do, I didn't really know because it's too easy when it's not in our site, it's too easy to push it away. But um, there are 1.7 million people who have been affected by HIV and AIDS in Tanzania. There are 27,000 AIDS related deaths of which 5,900 have been children, ages infant to 14 years. And in your city of Mimbea, yeah, it's one of the three regions of um, Tanzania. The um, it has a prevalence rate, of HIV AIDS prevalence rate of 9.3 among people ages 15 to 49 years. So, so what's happening to these children? What, what is the problem? They're, they're not being taken care of? What's going on? Yes, uh, as, you've, uh, uh, as you've said, these children have been taken care, but probably uh, not to the extent which uh, we would want to be taken off. And most of the organization which have been coming and working there, they've been probably concentrating in just in cities, but uh, probably not throughout the, uh, the villages and other places. So I would say uh, the, uh, the international organization, they're so overwhelmed by the, uh, the uh, how big the issue is in, in Tanzania. Well, and, and from what data that you've shared with us in the past, we're talking about almost 
900,000 children of age infant to 17 years being orphaned, abandoned to the streets, vulnerable to sexual abuse, controlled by drug dealers, ostracized by society. Why is this happening, do you think? Why, is, why are these children being neglected or, or ignored? Yeah, uh, according to the World Bank, yes, it's true that the World Bank has given a data that's almost 1 million below 15 years old who, are, uh, who have been affected by HIV AIDS. And some of these are just uh, living by the older siblings or with the extended families or they're in the street. So what is happening is that uh, one of the factors which contribute to that is uh, the stigma and discrimination among our people, which most of us, we are, we are not aware of uh, that HIV and AIDS probably need to be taken it uh, in a way that we should not uh, discriminate this kind of kids. Mm -hmm. uh, so there is a lack of education, lack of counseling centers, which we can cancel or education to issues on issues of sexuality. So wow. those are the issues. There is a lot of taboos among uh, in the issues of human sexualities. So if this is not uh, explained to people, then there will be obviously stigma and discrimination. Yeah, and it's, you know, we see this in the United States. We see homeless youth making us, us I'm sorry, LGBT youth making up such a large propor proportion of homeless youth in the United States. So in developing countries, it doesn't surprise me. It still saddens me terribly. But you have come in your 30 year remission to 2019 where you did something really well, and you've written books too, but you've done something even more which is the start of the Mercy World organization. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, Mercy World organization, that was my dream since, yeah, for more than 20 years. And it came out as a vision or like a dream, which uh, because uh, I've been living uh, among these children. So it came like, okay, this is my desire and this is my talent, which I want also to share with other people how we can help this, uh, this kind of children. Then it happened that, okay, let me have an organization which could be a place where people could also learn, get some counseling because that's my specialties and help these kind of kids. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, we're in the process and I want to share with our viewers that there'll be information at the YouTube uh, description of how they can help you because there certainly is a need for help. Um, you'll be returning to your home in Tanzania soon, but we will stay in touch and you will be able to um, get updates. But I think as, as you told me, we figured that to help one child in a year um, is around $775 or for half a year, 380 some dollars, right? Yes. That's and that's correct. very manageable these days perhaps for people who are watching or even for a month, right? Mm -hmm. um, your goal this year is to help how many students? And this is, um, it's amazing. Your, your, your help is food, very practical. It's, it's food, it's healthcare, and uh, what am I missing? The third, education, right? Education, yeah. Mm -hmm. And so this is really important. What's, what's your goal for this year, for 2022? To ha how many youth do you want to help? Yeah, for this 2022, it's about uh, 30 children. 30 children, which I want them to have this, what we have mentioned about uh, education supplies, food, uh, medical care, and also counseling, or uh, just getting some help from counselors. Yeah, because the, the youth need as much help as the communities that surround them in terms of the, while the communities may need awareness and, and education about this, the youth need support and they need to know they are loved. They need to know they are cared for. And you are certainly doing that, you and the people that work with you. I, um, I, I can't uh, tell you how much I respect what you are doing and how much what you're doing is making and will make a difference for so many people. Thank As you. I said, we will put in the bottom of the uh, description we'll, uh, how people can help you. 
So what's your, the final question is, what's your vision going forward if in five years from now, what would you like to be the outcome of all of this work? It may take longer, but let's say five years. Yes, I know it will take longer, but my vision is to make sure that my society, my people, they should just get rid of the stigma and discrimination against orphans, against these young children who are suffering from HIV and AIDS and other related issues. So my dream is that these children and young people, they go to school and fulfill their dreams to where, because I have asked some of the children, they want to be pilots, they want to be uh, teachers. So that's where I, I, I want them to get where they are dreaming of. Your dream is to help their dream. Yes. That's, that's yeah. There could be no more a uh, Christian, no more good godlike way to, to, to approach this. So thank exactly. you so much for what you do. And I look forward to, uh, to us learning about how, how much you are uh, making progress. Thank We've been you. talking today with my dear friend, Reverend Dr. Uh, Tentuthie, may we sing a I and um, who is a pastor at the Moravian Church in Tanzania in the southwest pro southeast province, yeah, southwest. And he is also a professor of theology. Uh, my note here from the Teofilo Kisanji University in Tanzania. So he's been in uh, in residence here at Moravian University and Moravian Theological Seminary. Thank you so much for being with us and thank you for watching um, Office Hours with the Practical Prof and Friends. Mm -hmm.